do, do you have your violin with you? I do, but I have to say I haven't touched it in, in quite some time. So because it became Why rusty. not? But <laughs> I've been a mother. I've been mothering, you know. And when she's sleeping, I sleep because I'm exhausted. exhausted. I, think so, you should, I think you should pick up your violin. I have my acoustic with me, so I don't know. Well, for this, this one exactly, it actually belonged to my great-grandfather. Really? Uh, yeah. He didn't play. Uh, he didn't play the instrument. He bought it at an auction many years ago, before I was born. So um, how old is it? And just, it's really, really old. I mean, the, the script on the inside says 1736, so I don't know. Wow. <laughs> I don't know, yeah. So he, he just, he bought it thinking that he was going to play, but I think he just kind of played the fool with it at home and then just held on to it, you know, in case um, a new generation would come and pick it up. But yeah, my dad didn't pick it up and then he inherited it and then I came along and then I, I started. Playing, well, it worked. So. It worked out. Come on. Come on. Okay. He what do you had, he, yes. he He also had an extra thumb, if I can say that. Sorry. Wait. <laughs> so Hold so on. he would have so he would have been amazing. If he, he would have been an amazing violinist because he had an extra thumb on one hand, which he used to use opening letters. <laughs> he had two thumbs. He had he had two thumbs on one hand, basically. Do you have Do you have a picture of? No, I don't. I don't have a picture. Okay. But but so I wish I had an extra when he thumb. Would people, he would say sharp sharp. <laughs> sharp sharp. Yeah. What are you what are you gonna play for us? I don't know. I haven't really prepared anything, so you have to tell um, me what you wanna hear. Uh your last piece that you played on stage. guys i haven't i haven't played in so long if that's your rest <laughs> need to practice if that no, is your rest it's very rusty what <laughs> i'm usually earth? much better but i haven't um sophia has has taken up a lot of my time we need to get davina <laughs> so, back on stage her tweet us yes. right now with a hashtag so i can so i can back, back on stage <laughs> so that she can perform tell me more I have an EP that I, I released um, at the end of 2020 um, and it's a pure instrumental EP called On the Strings and it's on all the platforms um, and yeah it's it's I collaborated with these hip-hop producers in Johannesburg and yeah we kind of created something really special. If your daughter had to see one clip of you mm. on online on the internet what do you hope she finds um i don't know i think it's it's the the the, the videos where I'm, I'm doing something really like wacky and weird with the violin like playing still dre you know on the electric um like all the sort of unexpected videos you know um i hope that i hope she, she comes across those videos and i hope that it sparks some sort of inspirational creative thing <laughs> well there's a video that i made um the day she was born oh yeah and it's something that i'm gonna keep and hopefully hold on to it until her 21st mm. and that's mm. the video i want to play mm. um i'll send it to you i'll show it to you. it's it's on it's on my instagram it's i a saw black it and white video of i saw just it the whole journey the full journey you yeah. know oh man i i it, it gives me it gives me big feels to this day you know it's just Going back and just thinking about all those moments, uh, the day Davina woke me up and told me my it's time, <laughs> my water broke, uh, making our way to the hospital. It just, it felt like the longest, shortest yeah. day ever. Yeah. And then she yeah. arrived and I was just like, well, yeah, I can't believe it. Yeah, she is, yeah. you know. sobbed like a baby I in did. the theater, by the way. Can I, I cried a lot. Say? I did cry yeah. a lot. And somebody told me, um, you would cry because you've been in suspense for nine months. Mm. And I love that so much. Yeah. You've been in suspense, for nine, suspense months, for nine months. And when you finally see this person who is you, half you, 
you just can't control those emotions. It's just too much. It was way too much for me. I could not handle it at all. What's the one thing you love about your wife? The one thing I love about my wife is she's such a geek. <laughs> I love that she's a geek. You know, she... And because I'm the same, you know, we, we know random facts about random things, which means we can have very random conversations about anything. <laughs> um, I love that she's just such a geek, but also willing to, uh, you know, try things and experience new things. You know, she's uh, a bit of a yes man in that regard, which is cool, you know, because I'm a bit of an adventurer and explorer. Like when we've traveled overseas we kind of just go with it. Are we? Yeah, let's let's go. Let's let's. In fact, try it. our first conversation that we had ever ever yes, was the conversation about my grandfather having an extra digit. Um, that was like it's the amazing. first first first, <laughs> and that for him was like the most amazing thing, you know. Um, Davina, what's the one? Just, yes, can yes. Can I add go to on. that? I'm so sorry. Yeah. So that's no. the thing I love about Davina as as a wife but the thing i love about davina as a mother is just how she's so involved um you know she does so much of the heavy lifting and you know will give me uh you know time to kind of work on what i'm doing so i can get that out and she's willing to take on you know uh, a lot of the i don't want to say the stresses that sophia can bring sometimes <laughs> but um you know i can see that she really puts her all into it every single fiber of her being making sure that this little one um, is taken care of and is always in a good space we're going to end with davina what's the one thing you love about your husband the one thing i love there's actually a lot of things i do love about my husband but the fact that he's he's the he's the calm to my storm kind of situation with, Without it sounding very cheesy. I love that, as you said, <laughs> when the storm started. Yeah. Without it sounding very cheesy, that's the only way I can explain it is that Don has an incredible way of just bringing me down like this, you know, and seeing the positive in every situation, seeing the light in every situation, um, and just, yeah, getting emotional. <laughs> Aww. Yeah. <laughs> so... Yeah, and just loving me and loving baby and just, yeah, our little family. I think you're doing a stunning job. Thanks for sharing and opening up. I'm going to see you on stage, okay? Okay. One day. <laughs> one day. One day, one day is one Soon. day. <laughs> Soon.